Bismillah, elhamdülillah. Ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulullah sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem ve ba'd. Then inshallah ta'ala, um, I'd like to mention a point about hadith terminology. And this is a mutawatir hadith and a ahad hadith. Technically, there is a difference between the two hadith. A hadith ahad is a hadith that necessarily, just to be very, very general, is narrated by one sahabi. And that's not a very good definition, but it's, it's just for the time being, without being too technical, uh, a mutawatir is one that came from many different transmissions, from several sahaba, for example, or there's many different chains in general. When we talk about the Hadith Ahad in the Hadith Mutawatir, it's a technical term to identify the Hadith that it has come from this Sahabi only, for example. It is not to question the authenticity of the Hadith because all of the Sahaba had Udul, they had Adl. They had precision in transmission and they were honest. And they did not lie on the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so what some of the deviant groups had did to try to negate points in Aqidah and say that there's no Dalil, is that they would say, well, this Hadith is Hadith Ahad. So they would not accept and you, saw, you find, for example, today the Ash'ira, the Ash'aris, they do this. They will say, we reject this hadith because it only came from one Sahabi. But you have to be very, very careful. I'll, I'll give you two good examples of why you should be so careful, inshallah, and we'll close. Because a hadith that's Ahad, for example, is the hadith in the Ma'amalu bin Niyat, the famous hadith that, uh, the hadith of Umar, this hadith is a hadith ahad. And not just that, I think uh, conservative, this is not an actual number that I have obtained upon uh, and, and actually verified, but it's a conservative estimate that Sahih Bukhari is, in my estimation, at least 90%, 80 to 90% hadith ahad. So if you reject the Hadith Ahad, you're rejecting Sahih Bukhari. Not only that, but again, if you're rejecting the Hadith, and you're rejecting the Hadith because it only came, it was only transmitted by one of the uh, companions, then you are accusing the companions of yani, fraud or conspiracy, conspiracy against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the conversation about whether hadith is ahad or mutawatir is just a technical terminology with the people of, uh, of the sunnah, with ahlul sunnati wa jama'ah. It is not a, a conversation of, because this hadith is mutawatir and this hadith is ahad, right? This hadith is ahad that we're going to treat it differently necessarily. Right? Because the hadith, like I said, what are you going to do with uh, in the Ma'amalu bin Niyat? Are you going to question that hadith? Because it only came from Omar? Radiallahu anhu? No, we're not going to do that. So we have to be very careful about the conversation and be very clear with people when we're teaching this points that this hadith is mutawatir, this hadith is hadith ahad. We're not questioning the authenticity. If the hadith is authentic, whether it came from several chains or it came from one sound chain, the people of the sunnah, we will accept it. For aqidah and for other matters, we'll accept it, inshallah ta'ala. And that's just the point that we should make. And we should be very careful because there are deviant groups, many deviant groups, like real deviant groups, okay? Real deviant groups, groups that maybe you think don't exist anymore, like the Asha'ira. They are very prevalent in America, as a matter of fact. They're very prevalent in America. And there's many other groups besides them, including the Shia, 
and other groups that they will make inkar on certain hadith and this, their way to, to negate the sunnah ultimately is to say, oh, that hadith is ahad. But like I said, and, and I will do some research inshallah to try to find a good number for you, but I am estimating conservatively that Sahih al-Bukhari is 80 to 95% hadith ahad. And I will look into that even better, inshallah ta'ala, to try to, because it may even be higher than that. I think conservatively, it's, it's, that number is, is pretty safe to say. Can you imagine if you took 80 to 90% of Sahih al-Bukhari out of the deen? Then what about Muslim? And what about the, the other books? What about the other books? What will we be left with from the Sunnah? You know, Hadith Abu Huraira. How many of the Hadith of Abu Huraira are Hadith Ahad? Because he was with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam many times when it was just him and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because of his nature of his life. And likewise, what about the Hadith of Aisha? Radiallahu anha. How many hadith does she narrate as the wife of the Prophet, the most beloved, the most beloved to the Prophet? How many ahadith does she narrate from her personal interactions when nobody else was there besides her and the Messenger of Allah? So you got to be very, very careful and just know that this is a technical term for the science of hadith. And this is not a defect of any sort. And we will accept it as the people of the sunnah as long as the hadith is sahih, as long as the hadith is hasan, and we will even accept the hadith if it's sahih the ghayrihi or hasan the ghayrihi wa hakada. Anything that I said is corrected from Allah's messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and anything I said is not corrected for myself or Shaitan and Allah is messenger free from it. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdika shadwan la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa tubu alaik. Jazakum Allah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.